Okay, welcome to another edition, a tutorial on how to troubleshoot accessories for a Toyota and other Asian cars. Let's begin. First of all, <clears throat> what happens if your radio is not working? Now, my previous video, <clears throat> excuse me, we went over fuses and the current flow. First of all, my radio is not working. What do we know? We know our radio is not working. What do we know? Well, let's see. <clears throat> From the schematic, you can tell. The question is, is my cigarette lighter working? And is my <clears throat> clock working? What does that tell me? If my cigarette lighter is working and my clock is working, my clock display is working, that means that this fuse has to be good. We already troubleshooted half of it to this part of the schematic. We isolated this troubleshooting problem to this part of the schematic. And we know that this fuse works. Like other mechanics would go, let's check the fuse, let's check the fuse. And even if you check the fuse and it's burned and it's open, what happens if there's a short on the line causing it to, to short out again? So we do the obvious things and we use our troubleshooting analyzation of schematics. My radio doesn't work. It doesn't work. Front speaker don't work. Rear speakers don't work. We try all the speakers, they don't work at all. We know that the, the fuse is working because the clock is working. We know that cigarette lighter is working. So it can't be the fuse. Again, could be the chip, this, this module over here. And there's a picture of it right here, of the layout. Okay, now, <clears throat> other, other scenario. Radio works, clock works. Cigarette lighter does not work, which happens a lot. Can it be the fuse? No, it cannot be the fuse. Why can it not be the fuse? Because my radio is working, my clock display is working. Simple. Now, take the next scenario. <clears throat> All three of these are not working. I go in my car, radio is not working, cigarette is not working, clock display is not working. Boom. Do I have to go and measure 12 volts over here? For what? I know probably my fuse is, is open or somewhere along the line. Or the switch is not working in, in uh, accessories. Or this. I can go over here and measure 12 volts right over here. And that tells me if I, if I have 12 volts over here, that means this switch is good this and this fuse is good in one shot. So now <clears throat> that's that. Clock display is not working. Interesting. Now... But my cigarette lighter is working. My radios are working. Hmm, interesting, right? Well, we said before, no, we get 12 volts to this clock display. And we get 12 volts going to this module, this chip. So, we need two things over here. We need 12 volts, which comes in automatic with no switch. We go right over here to this pin, pin 2, we measure 12 volts. Good, great. Now we need another 12 volts, follow the orange. Can it be that the fuse is not good? Well, if the fuse was not good, the radio would not be playing. So therefore, we can't say it's a fuse. We have to come to the conclusion that it's this. We're not getting 12 volts over here through this junction connector. Can it be that this is not good? And that's how we have no clock display. Well, if this would not be good, why would your radio be working? Why would your cigarette lighter be working? Next scenario. Very, very popular one. Washer motor not working. Well, is my, <clears throat> is my wiper relay working? Is my front wiper motor working? As you can see, we have a common common fuse for both if this would not be if this would be blown my washer motor would not be working my wiper relay and my wiper motor would not be working could be the switches over here also could be remember it goes to ground if if the, if my washer motor is working but my not my front wiper motor is working we have to come to this conclusion over here this motor is is faulty could be the switches in the wrong positions also but the only time that you would have n both not working remember there's two motors that we need would be if the fuse is blown or the switches don't 
switch correctly. So therefore, thank you for watching. I hope you understood most of this, or all of it, I hope. And we're going to make another video later on. Thank you for watching.